Hi everybody, Glenn again doing a quick little Amiga video. Uh, just got uh, installed the Kipler uh, expansion board here that gives the Amiga 500. Uh, this particular one gives me 8 megs of RAM and a compact flash IDE controller. Uh, underneath it, I'll send pictures later, I also got his uh, 1.3 and 3.1 multi-boot uh, ROM. Uh, I did update it again. Um, have a toggle switch here to switch between uh, 1.3 and 3.1. And of course, I got my switch here for my external uh, GoTech uh, that works really well. Um, I have to say, I'm, I'm really impressed with the device. It went in fairly easy. Um, there is one negative that I see, at least in my Rev 5 NTSC board. The uh, ROM chip that he supplies, as well as his board, are very, very difficult to seat in the current sockets. Um, I know generally the uh, Amiga, uh, and usually most of these little chips here, are of a flat nature. Um, here's a round, and um, I have them in. Um, I don't think they're in very well, to be quite honest. Uh, I'll spend more time later trying to fix them again. Um, but that's the only negative I can see, at least in my Rev board, which is a Rev 5 um, uh, NTSC. Um, the boards are very, very difficult uh, to seat. Um, but other than that, um, it's working really well. So why don't we just fire this little bad boy up and uh, let's see what we get. So we can see down here, um, I did add an external uh, indicator light uh, for the hard disk. So we can see that there was hard drive activity. And there we are. We have an Amiga 500 here, Rev 5, and uh, we now have a, a hard drive. And I'm very happy to see this again after all these years. So on this computer right now, I actually do have, honestly, uh, a 4 meg uh, expansion board uh, plugged into Gary. But I have to set it to simply 512 because I have all the RAM now on this board. So I have a total of 9 megs in here. Uh, 9 fast and 1 meg chip uh, currently. Um, I have, of course, my little ROM switch board. Uh, I'm sorry, my uh, external GoTech uh, DF0 to external uh, switch over there. And uh, I'm just waiting now on my uh, scan doubler. I was hoping to be here already, but it's not. When that's all done, uh, I know not everyone's a big fan of modding the cases, but I don't see much of a choice. I'm going to have to be putting my VGA connector back here and these two switches. But I just wanted to show you guys this uh, Kipler uh, device does work. Um, again, the only negative I can honestly say right now is that the board is very difficult to seat. And I'm right now I'm not super confident it's going to stay. Um, but I'm going to take another look at it again. I just wanted to fire it up real quick. And I know a lot of guys are interested in it. Um, so that's it. Um, now it's time to start putting... All my programs back on here and getting some WH uh, load games as well. And uh, that's it. Uh, have a great night, everybody.